multiplying integers with different signs. While playing a board game, Lawrence had to move back two spaces for four turns in a row. What integer represents his change in position? Let's use a horizontal number line to represent this situation. He moved back two spaces for four turns. So let's start at zero and move back two spaces. This represents the first turn. This is the second turn, the third turn, and the fourth turn. We end up at negative eight. We can say negative two times four equals negative eight. Lawrence's change in position is negative eight. Let's see our rule for multiplying integers with different signs. If the signs of the factors are different, the product is negative. A positive number times a negative number equals a negative number. Likewise, a negative times a positive equals a negative. What is the balloon's change in three minutes? Let's represent this situation using a vertical number line. Well, it says to the right that the balloon descends 500 feet in one minute. We need to find the change in three minutes. So the balloon goes down 500 feet in the first minute, down another 500 in the second minute, and down another 500 feet in the third minute. We can represent this as negative 500 times three. That will give us negative 1,500. The balloon's change in three minutes is negative 1,500 feet. A game show contestant starts a game by answering two questions incorrectly. Each incorrect answer costs the contestant 600 points. What is the contestant's point total? Let's use a horizontal number line to represent this situation. There are two incorrect questions and each costs 600 points. So that can be represented with a negative 600. This is the change for the first incorrect question. And this is the change for the second incorrect question. Let's represent this as two times negative 600. That will give us negative 1,200. The contestant's point total is negative 1,200. A race car game takes six points from a player each time the player hits a cone. What integer represents the change in total points if the player hits 10 cones? Let's use a horizontal number line to represent this situation. The player loses six points for one cone, but the player hit 10 cones. So we have to take away six points 10 times. We can represent this with 10 times negative six. That will give us negative 60. If the player hits 10 cones, the change in total points would be negative 60. A football team lost six yards on each of three consecutive plays. What is the total change in yards from where the team started? Let's represent this situation using a horizontal number line. Well, the team lost six yards, which we can show with a negative six, three times. So let's move six spaces to the left three times. We can represent this with negative six times three. That will give us negative 18. The total change in yards from where the team started is negative 18. Let's review our rules for multiplying integers with different signs. If the signs of the factors are different, the product is negative. For example, a positive times a negative equals a negative, and a negative times a positive equals a negative. 